Hi, three most welcome back. Guys, I truly believe that moving out is one of the things that you can do in the modern world to eliminate most of your worries. And if you don't feel like a man right now and you're living at home with your parents, moving out will make you feel like a man. It'll be that initiatic ritual that drives you into becoming a man and to become becoming a sovereign individual if you look at it the process of leaving the nest removing yourself from your parents guidance and care it is the the best modern ritual that we have the the best initiation that a man has these days to becoming and going into his full potential what i think right now is happening is we have all these guys living at home past the age of like 20 into their 30s and it's stifling their growth it's it's crushing their spirit and that desire to really shake things up what i think is happening in the modern world is like we have just too much it, it's too easy to go with the the flow and to get trapped in the lazy river like like if you look at life all the technology and all the things that are happening it's like a lazy river and you're sort of just coasting down this lazy river, especially if you're born into a family that has the means to take care of you and you don't have to worry, you just kind of coast. You just kind of go with the flow. It's the decision to get out of that river, to, to shake things up, not just go to school, get a degree, you work a job on the side, and then, oh, okay, get a job. Like, when are you going to make things happen? And not only that, but what do you want to happen? And so this is this is a big thing I'm seeing is the, the spirit of the individual is getting trapped in that lazy river. There's nothing to separate him where he becomes his own man. And the process of moving out will now force you to start to think for yourself. Moving out will cause you to get rid of a lot of the boyish anxieties and fears that you may have. It's very awkward to try to pick up a girl, to cold approach a girl and say, oh, you're sexy as hell. Like, I wanna get to know you, what's your number? Let's go out sometime. It's very hard to say that with balls, you know, with, with some conviction, when you have to go back home to your mother and your father and make sure they're not home. It's very awkward to face the world when you have to be at, at home with your parents or your mom's doing your laundry and they're cleaning up and they're the ones paying the bills. You don't have to develop that inner salesman that is very persuasive and has perseverance even when people say no. You don't actually have to develop that when you're living at home. So moving out will force you, you know, you'll have to talk to the landlord. You have to, you have to, your balls will actually grow, dude, because like you, you have to become more when you leave the house because life is not easy. And so you'll stop worrying about a lot of stupid things. You'll, you'll really be forced to get out of your own mind and now be put into the real world and take action and develop a thick skin. When you're at home, you don't have to develop a thick skin. Usually when I, what I see is a lot of guys, they live at home and they develop just anger issues and hatred for their parents. But as soon as you move out, what you'll notice is that you actually have more of a loving, and appreciation for your parents. You'll have a more loving relationship for your parents, with your parents. It's one of the greatest things, I think. It's one of the things that most men these days need to do. And for the very, you know, I know a lot of guys will say, well, you know, it's it's not smart with money, okay? Um, you're living at home, you're saving up money for what? What are you saving up money for? You've never lived alone, you've never had to, clean your own place and and pay the bills and invited a girl over to your own place and had the autonomy to just say this is my freaking space man i don't got to worry about nobody i can walk around butt ass naked i could do whatever the hell i want this is my kingdom right a lot of guys they say, oh i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna uh make you know i'm gonna save money and then i'm gonna move out when like what are you gonna do you're gonna move out when you're just gonna save up a couple grand and then move out when you're 27, 28, 30. I mean, what's stopping you from just, just keep going down this little lazy river of life?
What's what's holding you back from actually jumping out and say I'm gonna make some a difference in my life? I've noticed that the guys that stay at home and they save up the money and then they decide to move out and then finally get into their career, they're lacking this, mm, they're lacking a thick skin to themselves that can just tell people to fuck off, tell people no, that can uh, stand up. It, um, that's what moving out's gonna do to you. It, you're gonna stop being the nice guy and getting walked over. If you don't just settle down, like when you move out, it's not time to just settle down. This is also what happens to guys that move out later. When you move out when you're like 18 to 25, there's still that testosterone in you that can handle trauma and all the past and just the hardships. There's still a lot of that that fire in the belly that wants to be a go-getter. But the guys that move out later in life, what I've noticed is like, they just, they move out and then they put all of this stuff on their life, video games, nothing wrong with video games, but it, it, it's when you put the environment to be a safe space. Like they put the video games in there, they, uh, they, you know, they got their bong, they got a comfy couch, they got a TV. So when they move out later, they get the career and then they just, they kind of just have everything they need to just go back in the lazy river. So the sooner you move out and the more hardship that you faced and the trauma you have, like that forces you to want to be freaking better, man. You need to go through that shit because it makes you want to like, like, like go out and freaking shake life up. You know, you get un, you're get you unsatisfied with how life is. So you make a decision to change things. You don't just accept your fate. You're the captain of the ship. You know, you're the master of your fate. You don't just go with the flow. And, and so many guys, they're in that lazy river and they don't know it. Like, time is passing you by. Time is passing you by. You're getting older and things are not always going to be great. And you don't want them to be great and comfortable. You want to go where life is, you know, pretty uh, difficult, doing things that are, are not always fun. You know, the more like comfort your life is, the more like the, the minimal stress lifestyle is not fun. It's boring. It's like, it's death. You just go there to die. Okay, so, so you don't want that. So I'm telling you, it's, it's what the men need. You gotta move out of your parents' house and stop waiting to be ready. Too many guys these days, we're just waiting. Like. We just, there's no reason to do anything these days. You don't have to get married, you know? Like, like what's forcing you to get married? This is a question I ask myself, but I'm gonna get married because I like what it stands for. But too many, we're like thinking about the statistics and the, you know, we have these fears. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to move out. You don't have to get married. You don't have to start a business. You don't have to do anything because you're not forced to. You have too many things giving you good feelings, making you feel whole. But it's, it's a facade, man. It's an illusion. And once you pull that back, you realize, fuck, 